I'm very anti-schedule. The worst thing when you're in the middle of like a great work conversation or a groove of getting things done and then you're like, oh yeah, I've got that court date for that hit and run. You're like, ugh, here we go again. Look at Marissa Mayer at CEO. She's getting so many kudos for being CEO while pregnant, you know? But I've been CEO of Booza for years now with multiple STDs. There's no Time Magazine article about it, but when you're the little guy, you've got to be scrappier. Well, people tell me I need an assistant, but I don't want one, you know? I prefer to be unresponsive and neglectful until people get the idea they're not important to me. I found that if you don't answer emails, it actually trains people to leave you alone. My kids aren't crazy about that, but, you know, it's more of a French parenting style. Not being around. I love communicating with email because it doesn't interrupt anyone. You know, sometimes people try to talk to me in real life and I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen. People wonder how I'm so productive. And the key is I spend 12 hours a day reading articles about productivity. It didn't just happen overnight. I worked at it. Well, I see my role as standing at the intersection of technology and the humanities. So I'll be talking to a programmer and I'll be like, hey, how can we make your code seem more like poetry? And then I'll read him a poem. Robert Frost or Rumi, Baudelaire. Or I'll go up to someone writing copy for the website and I'll be like, hey, how can we make this copy sound more like it was written by a robot? And then we'll do the robot. I look to chefs for inspiration, you know, people like Mario Batali and David Chang. You know, you can see it in how I program. You know, when I program, I'm usually wearing a hairnet. And I'm surrounded by Guatemalans. Some people talk about work-life balance. You know, I'm more of a believer in work, work harder balance. Some people aren't used to an environment where excellence is expected from them. And those are the kind of people that we have here at Booza. You know, nothing's expected of me. I interviewed everyone who works here myself, and my criteria was, would I want to get a beer with this person, you know, even if they didn't work here? And if the answer was yes, then I'd be, you're hired. You know, let's end the interview early, let's go drink. Let's come into work at 9 a.m. drunk. Shots. Now, I don't think I have a problem.